with Carlos, uh, you guys had bumped him down the lineup earlier in September when he wasn't feeling as well. Is this a product of him feeling, showing you guys the the foot is good and he's performing again, or what? Or is this just simply the, you're facing a lefty? Well, he's been playing well. He's been swinging the bat well. Um, I liked what I've seen from him, and. Um, We've moved our, our lineup around. It's been a lot of the same names uh, when facing a lefty. Um, but I think he's in a good place right now to hit right there, basically in the middle of the lineup, uh, right behind Royce. And uh, I think uh, Carlos probably likes it too. I, I, I don't have to ask him that. I, I'm just uh, going to assume on that. But um, we just wanted to put the best lineup we can we can make for, for facing Fran or Valdez. And um, this is what it looks like. Back was Deke to get a Brayu at second yesterday. Are you aware of like just those sorts of things that he has up his sleeve to break out in those moments, Carlos? Oh, I'm aware. Uh, he has all he has all of the the tricks. He has all the knowledge, um, and it's one thing to think about these things when you're laying in bed at night uh, before you go to sleep. It's another thing to pull it off uh, in the middle of a playoff game when it counts. And we played three games so far in the playoffs, and he's pulled uh, he's pulled one off every game. So. Um, these are all, each one of those is a special play in and of itself. And, um, uh, but no, I'm not, never surprised when I see uh, him do something like that. Never surprised. Over on the right. Uh, Rocco, you have all the analytics and, and all the uh, scouting you've done, but when you get the eye test, do you change anything? Does that change any strategies or, or anything you do in the game? I mean, everything we do is based on the eye test. To be honest, um, we kind of we, we need a place to start. You need a you need a place to start. So you kind of look at uh, you know a hundred different things, including all of your past experiences. Um, but once the game starts, I mean, there's never anything set in stone. Once a game starts, and um, I think everyone would would you know to one level or another probably say the same thing in their own job whether you're the pitching coach or the hitting co I mean the the game is a it's a it's a kind of a it's it's always moving in front of you so um, you have to be able to uh, react and, and think about all the different things all the different scenarios that might play out in front of you but uh, uh, I think it's uh, what makes the most sense for me at least what helps me make uh, what I think the best decisions are is um, you kind of you have to have a good firm kind of foundation of, of what you think about a game, a situation, a decision, um, and then you see what happens in the game and you balance it all out, you make the best call. That's what you do. Go to Phil on the left. Rocco, uh, how big an advantage is it for you to uh, play with the uh, roof open tonight, or, or not? We discussed this a little bit. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, the, we've played, uh, again, in a few games. The crowd's been a part of the game each and every night. This is not a – I'm not, like, challenging anyone, I swear, by making the statement. Like, our two games at home I thought were louder than the game last night, and we were playing indoors last night. Um, I don't think it matters very much if the roof is open or the roof is uh, closed. Um, uh, again, we're, we're all playing the same game here. Uh, nothing's going to really, I think, change and, and hand any sort of advantage one way or the other, whether you're talking about the type of pitcher that's on the mound or, uh, you know, the crowd noise. I mean, there's a chance the crowd noise can certainly play into a game and into specific points of the game. But um, I'm not concerned of, uh, about whether or not the dome will be open or, or closed. Bobby? You know how to start this, Bobby. <laughs> um, with Chris Paddock. <clears throat> there, see what you did. <laughs> with uh, Chris Paddock, just his first postseason appearance as a reliever, um, do you have to treat him any differently in terms of him warming up and then in terms of him possibly pitching back-to-back -back games? Well, I'll just always say, in a playoff environment, there, there's going to be uh, – uh, 
we'll use our guys. I mean, we're, we're not we're not going going to uh, go out of our way to put guys um, uh, down. We're gonna we need to win games. So uh, if if medically a guy is able to come back and pitch, we'll pitch him. Uh, he probably he's not going to be the first or second or third or fourth guy probably coming in today. Um, we, we do you know I, the way I look at it, he's he's one of our starters next year. He, I've said this before. He's coming back off of a lot um, as far as his rehab and his surgeries. Uh, he's in a great spot right now. He's not a guy we're going to throw out there like three or four uh, or anything like that. But he's doing really well. He threw the ball great uh, yesterday. Um, uh, and we'll, we'll use him again this series for sure. Um, as far as the way that we, we treat him, um, if I have the opportunity to give him some extra time, if I know he's likely coming into the game, we give him. Why not give him that extra time? And you know, instead of waiting till an inning ends and calling down and trying to get him up quick and get him moving, if you can call down a little early and say, "Hey, you know, Patty, Patty, uh, Paddock is likely going in." Uh, you can never say anything for sure. Uh, situations can change, but um, you know, let's get him moving and uh, and get him hot. Then then you give him an inning and you know, you get him three quarters of an inning basically instead of half of an inning uh, to get loose. So if we can do it, we do it. We kind of speculated about the possibility, but was Kenta ever uh, a serious option for you guys to uh, start yesterday? And now that you've used him, is, does that kind of uh, eliminate the possibility that he would start in this round? Well, uh, Ober and Kenta and Joe were, were all serious discussions and considerations um, to start, but, you know, also come out of the pen and also potentially pitch uh, uh, in game four. Um, so, yeah, and th all of them were, were thoroughly discussed. Um, I also think, you know, moving to the second part of your question, uh, the guys that pitched yesterday early in the game, they, they pitched and they pitched more than an inning, but they didn't pitch so much that they're, they're not going to be available for a while. So we, we kept them in play. So I would say Ober and Kent are both, going to be in play once we get back home um, and we could use them again if we if we choose. Anything else for Rocco? Thanks for coming in Rocco. Thanks guys.